Last week, Bangladesh started relocating Rohingya refugees from the world's largest refugee camp in Cox's Bazar to an island called Bhashanshar. This in spite of the objections raised by several international organizations, including the United Nations. Now the big challenge facing Bangladesh is to meet the basic needs of these refugees. The foreign minister has already said that it is a United Nations mandate to help them in Bhashanshar. The question is, how are the Rohingyas faring on the island in such a situation? Here's a ground report by our correspondent, Lakmina Jasmine Soma. This is like a new morning for the Rohingyas. They have started to live here in Vashanchar for the first time. How do the Rohingyas feel about coming to this uh, new place that totally isolated from the mainland? Let's hear from them. From huts in the Cox's Bazaar refugee camp, the Rohingyas have now moved to living in brick buildings. According to a predetermined plan, each Rohingya family has been assigned a place for their stay. They share their experience of being in this new place with Vian. We have never seen anything like this since we came to this country. All facilities are being provided here. We are being fed. Our children are happier. They can play sports here, get in the car, go to school or madrasa. We are much happier to be here than there. We didn't expect that much. Here I see a system in everything. The house, the toilet, the kitchen, the food are all running in the system. There is no better news for us than this. In the face of growing concerns over the extreme congestion in the camps of Cox's Bazaar and to avert any risk of death due to landslides and other unforeseen incidents, the government has decided to relocate in phases 100,000 Rohingyas to Bhashanshar. Accordingly, in the first phase, more than 1,600 Rohingyas who expressed their willingness for voluntary relocation were then shifted to Bhashanshar on Friday afternoon. Despite all the facilities for a better life, the Rohingyas do not have happiness in their minds. They carry a memory of losing loved ones in Rakhine. So they want to go back to their country, to their home and to their own address. But there is an issue here. Most Rohingyas say that they will return only when a peaceful environment is ensured in Rakhine by the government in Myanmar. They also demand justice. I will go back if there is a fair trial. I will return if there is justice. Otherwise, I will not return. They have killed all of my relatives. All the houses have been burnt down. So where will we go? If peace returns to Burma, I will return on the same day. For a few days, the Bangladesh Navy will provide cooked food to the Rohingyas. Thereafter, they will be able to cook and eat in their own kitchen. They will be given regular relief like the refugee camps in Cox's Bazar. However, the Bangladesh government has also made arrangements for the refugees to make a living on this island. Since uh, the UN or any international organization is not working in Vashanchar, so it's a big challenge for Bangladesh. Now the question is, uh, uh, will uh, local NGOs be able to meet their basic needs? How long will government uh, cover their expenses from its own funds? Although not an international organization, 22 national level NGOs have come to Bhashanchar in response to the government's call. They have already started working to assist and provide essential services to the Rohingyas. It has been seen on ground that some NGOs have started providing services to the Rohingyas in hospitals and community clinics. Representatives of NGOs say that they have arranged for providing food to one lakh Rohingyas in Bhashanchar for the next six months. They are also confident of getting a positive response from international donors very soon. We have come here in response to the call of the government. The government has already announced that one lakh Rohingyas will come here. That is how Bhashanchar has been prepared. We have 22 organizations preparing for one year support of one lakh Rohingyas. Bhashanchar is many times better than Cox's Bazaar. Eco-friendly schools, colleges, hospitals, we have everything here. Hopefully, we will be able to get some international donors from next January. The government has invested more than $350 million to develop the island. The 13,000-acre island has all the modern amenities. These include an uninterrupted supply of electricity and water, 
agricultural plots, cyclone shelters, two hospitals, four community clinics, mosques, warehouses, telecommunication services, police stations, recreation and learning centers, as well as playgrounds. However, many experts believe that the Rohingya repatriation process is being obscured by the relocation issue. Bangladesh is hosting more than 1.1 million Rohingyas in Cox's Bazar. A majority of them have entered Bangladesh since August 25th in 2017, amid the military crackdown against the Rohingyas by the Myanmar security forces. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.